I was reading about your life, you know, doing some preparation for Good. you. The big defining thing is that your mom was gay and she came out of the closet. Was it the defining thing for you as a kid? I was 25. Oh, you were older. Oh. That's even more mind It's weird. Yeah, it's fucking weird. Do you go in your head and you say, I never really knew my mother? Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. like a different person. Yeah. And she said, too, that she never, ever, she just put it away and, wow. like, just kind of locked it up. And Did she oh. divorce your dad and say, yeah. listen, I, I, I realized something. Was your dad devastated? Oh, yeah. He was really in oh, love with her. Yeah. Do you think she knew she always was gay and just no. kept lived a she closeted said, life? She said that when my sister was born, who's two years younger than me. Right. She remembers now having a crush on the nurse, right, or something, and yeah. then, but then that was it, and uh, never thought about it again. Uh, yeah, I guess because she's so repressed in our, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. because it's an embarrassing thing for that generation. Yeah. Oh God. That, that, and she got married really fast too. Like she right. met my dad. Not that that's bad. I mean, my wife and I got married really fast, but. Right. So your mom now, does she have a, a, a girlfriend? or a, a, She's been with the same woman wow. that she left my father for. Do you like the woman? Wow. Yeah, they're very happy. Were you difficult in terms of the adjustment? Did you give your mother shit, or did you say, I can't deal with this? <sighs> no. I, I felt like I could deal with it. Right. And I don't think I dealt with it very well for a while, because, you know, growing up, we always thought that we were the perfect family. Mm -hmm. Three kids, suburbia. I never saw my parents fight. Wow. Ever and and, but and then it's all like then everything is qu questionable. You it's know, a lie. That to you, it's, yeah. a, it's a complete lie. And so then I've had to like kind of go back and slowly just parse through it and like, oh yeah, she used to sleep for like three hours in the afternoon. Like uh, she was severely depressed. Right. You know. Yeah, she had to be. Yeah. I mean, you know. And you say she left your dad for another woman. That's right. Yeah. So she fell in love with somebody. Yeah. Well, she met, they met in seminary. My mother. Oh, my. oh. Yeah. Well, that's, <laughs> what? That's another thing that my mother's, like, I look back on it now, and she would get really intensely into religion. Right. For long periods. Um, you know? And I was like, oh, now it's like obviously just searching for something. Right. And right. this was one of those periods where she was really into it and she was going to become a minister. Wow. And she met this woman there and they, yeah, they fell in love there. Oh, and I remember love to know that whole story? Like, like how that <gasps> all went down. Well, yeah. I remember my dad, my dad called me once and I was living here. I was in Brooklyn and yeah. he, he called me up and he was like, and they'd been having trouble. They were in therapy together and yeah. reading my dad was just quoting he would he'd quote men are from Mars women are from Venus all the time <laughs> yeah, yeah. he's like really oh. Rob it's, it's oh. like we're from different planets <laughs> yeah. I mean Mars and Venus right. think about it and uh, oh, poor him because he might have been so he's confused he's trying and yeah yet he was working his ass off you weren't living home at that point when your mom mm -hmm. had to turn to your dad and say hey listen and it, probably they were in therapy and she go listen I'm, 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 I'm gay <sighs> my brother was living at home he was. Yeah, and he was just graduating. Oh, she did it. She called me up at work, and she was like, will you, uh, will you come home? I was planning on coming home for my father's birthday in two yeah. weeks. Yeah. And she was like, will you come home this Saturday instead, which was Father's Day? Right. And so I was like, oh, yeah, sure. Oh, okay. And then I, some reason it clicked right then. I was like, oh, my God, she's gay, and she's breaking up with my father, and this is the family meeting. Oh. And all my friends were like, you're crazy. What are you imagining? What? <laughs> yeah. And uh, and then sure enough, I mean, she picked Father's Day. I mean, you know, it was a convenient time to get us all together. Oh, that is crazy. And uh, and then she got us together. Yeah, and she she uh, it was in the family our little living room, and she she told us all. And your dad was oh. sitting there. Oh yeah, it was. Uh, I've never. You mean he he didn't know. He did. No, he knew he at knew that the, point. Oh, okay. The this wasn't yeah. the first time he was hearing. No, but it was okay. raw. It was. It just happened to him. Right. You know? And so they, uh, and he, I've never seen my dad cry wow. before or since. And and when I said cry, he cried. And it was just, that That was one of the most devastating parts of right. it. Would Seeing it, him so hurt. Would have been great, though, if you were inappropriate. Go, oh, my God, this is so hot. <laughs> this is going to be a great story someday. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to get on the Howard Stern show and talk about yeah. it. Yeah.